Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. My name is Mehdi and today we are going to talk about how to texture a leather glove in Substance Painter. So, for the first step, we need to load our model in Substance Painter. Now, I'm going to File, New, and I'm going to use Unreal Engine 4 template because at the end I'm going to um, export the textures with this template. So, let's press select and use low for substance. So I prepared everything before texturing phase and we have a high poly and low poly. So I'm going to load low poly for substance and here I'm going to check document resolution on 2K, normal map format on direct X, it's okay. And everything else should be the same and press okay. So, this is our model, and we are going to texture this. So, before anything else, I need to bake this model. So, I have a high poly version of this model, so I need to load that in here. Yes, high for substance, and after that, I'm, I should waiting for loading the model and everything is okay as you can see the high poly version completely match with low poly and there isn't any detail outside of the cage so it's good and we are good to go and let's go and check all the setting here for the anti-aliasing i'm going to use 64x and for the match i'm going to use by mesh name and I'm going to explain this concept a little bit further. So, for the suffix, we have low. For the high poly mesh suffix, we have high. This is important. I'm going to talk about and explain everything related to this concept. And we have nothing in the normal. For the ID, I'm going to use mesh ID. And for ambient occlusion, for the self occlusion, we should use only same mesh name. And in the character, self intersection with only same mesh name. Okay, for the position, we have nothing to, uh, to tweak and set. And for the thickness, we should go and check self occlusion on only same mesh name. And I'm going to use bent normal and for self occlusion only same mesh name. So everything is good to go. And for the output size, I'm going to bake on 4K. In the meanwhile, we are baking textures. Let's go and check what is by mesh name. And I'm going to explain and cover this topic for you. Okay. What is the by mesh name method and whenever we need to use this method? For example, we have a complex model like here and we have the surface top each other so or close to each other. So whenever we have this situation and we don't want to after the big we have dark AO or for example a normal intersection issue and this kind of problems with the baking so for that we have two solution here the first solution is uh, some kind of uh, old school solution that we, we are going to separate the model pieces like this and match the high poly version to low poly version for the position and after that we bake everything and because we have the same UV after baking you can apply the mesh maps on a complete model okay so this is the oldest school but here we can do something else in Substance Painter we can define the model the high poly model and the low poly model that we want to bake 
on each other and transfer the data from high poly to low poly with name and the suffix. So, for example, for this section, okay, for this section, I have a low poly model like this with a specific name and related to each other. Okay, so for this part, I have leather underline low. And in the high poly model, I have leather underline high. And in this way, I can tell to software, I can tell to Substance Painter, hey, Painter, please bake this model on this model, okay, and transfer all the data from this high poly model to this low poly model without any effect on any model or any surface near that. So in this way, you just need to separate the pieces that you want to affect on each other and give the name, the same name with the same spelling. So in this way, you can control the transferring data from high poly model to low poly model with the suffix, high suffix and low suffix and uh, you can use any suffix that you want. It, this is um, definition for the for the software. Okay, so you can, for example, use H for high, or use L for low, and tell the software. Okay, whenever you see or read H, this is the high poly version, and whenever you read L, this is low poly version. So in this way, I can bake any complex model easily without doing the old ways, old school ways, separating pieces uh, in space and bake and after that apply the mesh maps on the complete model. So this is the main concept and you need to practice and get along with this technique to have a good perspective and use it in your project. So let's back in Substance Painter and continue our process. For the first step, I'm going to create different folder and categorize the, the whole model with different color to have a color ID for my definition of the material. So let's do that.
So now I have my categories and my pass is so more clear. Let's go and start with bottom. I'm going to use dark age steel for the bottom and maybe create change color to something like bronze or gold something like this okay now I'm happy with that and it's done yeah and let's go over for a strap I'm just going to use a simple base material let me search for fabric and choose between them yeah maybe something like this and increase the scale and yeah I think six is enough so yeah it's done too and I need to go over and add material for these fabric parts and I'm going to use a small material let me search fabric and I think base baseball head yeah it's okay for the fabric part but it's too small has a too small texture so let's decrease the tiling something like this yeah five is okay and for the color I'm going for light brown yeah, yeah maybe this one yeah and in technical parameters I'm going to decrease height range to avoid the harsh effect on normal okay so I think everything is okay for now and let's go and add the material for leather 2 and leather 1 for this part I'm going to use my library and let's search leather so in this case you can understand how a smart material can speed up your process so uh, let me check yeah I think this one is good for this part yeah yeah actually it's so it's so good it's so good but uh, for this pattern section it's too strong so I need to copy this uh, smart material and name it to for pattern and change the color to for example orange and this one to red so I can understand uh, there is a difference between these two folder okay so for this part I think yeah the base material is so good and do the right thing uh, maybe in the future I'm going to tweak some parameters to reach more a uh, clean version of leather but for now it's good and for this part let's go and mask it out the paint layer and yeah I'm going I'm going to mask mode with holding alt and click on black icon of the mask so let's select this one yeah and 
turn off all the layers and for avoiding any conflict between these two folder I'm going to subtract this part with the white value from white mask okay so now I have nothing there is no data to show up in here so the first layer is going to be show up yeah it's good maybe the color is so strong so I decrease the opacity and the second one yeah I think it's too strong too and for this one nah, it's good it's good actually edge damage so this layer maybe needs some tweak for example there is no data for this pattern and it's related to mask editor outdated uh, I'm going to use metal edge yeah and decreased uh, grunge amount and wear level so maybe more brighter color and a smaller amount of height and in positive way so surface damage yeah it's good it's good it's going to be more lighter than this so let's bring down the opacity the layer and this one is too strong you can see what is the difference between turning off the layer and the layer on so okay I'm going to decrease the roughness amount and maybe slighter height value so yeah okay and maybe smaller scale yeah something like this yeah it's better it's better right now and for the roughness no, I'm not okay with these layers. Let's add a fill layer and maybe add some grunges to have variation in roughness channel. Maybe this one. Or maybe use roughness imperfection, you know? We have it right now, and yeah, this one. I think this one is better for leather, and I can play with the roughness value. Let's go to the roughness channel and play with the value. Yeah, I think it's better to have variation in white and for AO roughness let's back to yeah the mask is so good so I need to turn on color and make it black and decrease the amount of the opacity so you know I need to have a strong connection between insides 
patterns and outside the outer line okay so for the surface detail yeah we are good and for the scratch yeah it's good this surface should have a scratch too so and for the dirt layer you know it's so strong so I need to decrease the amount of the opacity and maybe yeah the roughness value to something like 35 okay or maybe changing the blending mode to soft light so I can create this effect and for AO roughness maybe changing to soft light 2 and you know this kind of effect maybe it's better or just darkest value for this line okay so it's okay now I can see the big difference between this one and this part so let's go and turn off all the layers here and yeah maybe maybe a little bit darker yeah this one is good maybe with a small change in opacity value yeah this one is good too yes and for the edge damage hmm, maybe it's the mask is too strong and I need to go here and play with the global balance okay or maybe change it to something like dirt or metal edge yeah I think metal edge is much better but with low grunge amount yeah yeah it's better actually it's so much better so the surface damage I need that and surface noise okay the surface noise it's going to add some leather detail so maybe play with the roughness value yeah the roughness AO roughness the surface detail yeah it's much better and the dirt part yeah everything is good so maybe changing the color from this down yeah it make let's decrease yeah i think it's better yeah okay let's go to base color channel yeah we can see the similarity between these sections okay so this is for leather 2 and for leather 1 maybe I'm going to use black plastic for this part not leather so let's call it section 1 and section 2 so I'm going to change the color to green and blue and for this let's do it the red layer and I'm going back to my library and type plastic to use some of my smart material so I think maybe 
I can find. Yeah, this one is. Actually, this one is so good. Yeah. You can feel the power of the glove. And I don't need to change parameters for that because it's it fits on the model. So between section one and section two, I would like to have a fill layer. Mm, I call it curvature. And just with the base color and use the curvature mesh maps and as you can see I can play with this layer to pop up the stitches that I have I had it on my high poly version okay so let's change the blending mode to soft light and add level to the fill layer and play with this yeah as you can see now i can feel the stitches yeah yeah and it's so good it's so good and for for these parts i need to have some stitches so i'm using the 9 version, the latest version of Substance Painter. So I can use the new tool, call it Pass Tool. Okay, this tool is so amazing and so powerful. So for using this tool, you need to add a paint layer. I'm going to call it Stitches. And you need to go to Pen or Paint Along Path and you need to load a material over that. You can find suitable material for this tool in your asset with this kind of logo. Okay, so you can see, you know, yeah. And I'm going to use top stitching. Yeah, it's so amazing. And whenever you use paint along path you have a new path layer menu over there so you can see whenever i click on my 3d model there is a new path okay and i can Temporarily switch between two layer. So I need to create a new layer of the path. So I have two layers with two path and I can control each path material data separately. And this is so amazing. So let's modify this path and fit on my model double click on each vertex make it makes it uh, linear as you can see so this one need new vertex and double click maybe repositioning of this vertex to have a good result yeah, I need a new vertex over there. And you can reposition all the vertex. Like this, so simple and so powerful. Yeah, you can uh, toggle the visibility here and maybe load some guideness 
over there and reverse the order of the direction of the path with these two and it, this is so amazing and I need to change this to linear 2 okay and I'm going to have double a stretch stitch yeah and going to stitching parameters maybe offset vertically going to 25 and for the size I can decide yeah it's more logical to have this kind of stitches with this size yeah the size yeah maybe decrease the size and in increase the offset yeah it's more logical yes and puckering I can increase the intensity as you can see and the position and fading yeah it's good so for the pass two I need to define the path in this way yeah so I think the space is good I need more vertices over there and yeah okay so double and I can came here to check the parameters for example 65 and 65 zero, 0505 yeah it's more logical okay 65 and 65 and the space is good maybe repositioning this vertex and this one and maybe this one so in this way I can control the reality okay so it's good yeah and you can came here and a different layer So let's bring up the stitches layer. Yeah. And you can control and whenever you have a problem or maybe issue with the projection, you can come here and play with the project uh, projection depth okay or maybe a spacing so you can play with these parameters and have different uh, result okay so let's add another pass layer and like this yeah it's so good so good and so easy you know before this adding stitches on your model really uh, it was related to everything you know the 
straight UV, the form of the model, and it's so powerful to have this kind of tool in Substance Painter. Yeah. So I can go back, for example, to this path and repositioning this vertex like this. Or maybe this one. Yeah. And I'm going to add some more stitches over the model with this tool. So you can see what happened after that.
okay now we are done with the stitches and for the final part I'm going to add some details over there and in this area so uh, let's go to section area I'm going to create a fill layer call it pattern and add a black mask and for this mask I'm going to use one paint to have this area okay and this section but uh, I'm going to subtract this area and I just need to have details over there before reaching the stitches here so I need to add another paint layer and change the blending mode to subtract go back to paint and go back to the material and remove the area that I don't want to okay so this area should be clean Decrease the hardness. And clean this area. Okay. So, let's go to this section. area yeah it's it's good it's enough and I don't want need this section so I can remove all of that okay and now I can use oh my god I need to refill this part yeah and it's okay so I'm going to add a fill layer with a gradient gradient linear 2 and multiply to this and increase the tiling amount and tie them from here for reaching this effect or maybe 15 is good so I know I need to increase yeah and play with the balance and contrast yeah and came back here give height value a little bit roughness and for the color I'm going to use soft light and play with the value here something like this yeah yeah it's better and let's go back to normal right click and apply to all channel and after that I'm going back to soft light and I can decrease the amount of the opacity and maybe in a roughness value too so yeah and let's go to the fabric and play with the color maybe I need to have a darker darker value so something like this 
here and that's enough yeah that's enough for this and we are done for the final stage and final step i'm going to add another paint layer call it sharpen and change pass through for the blending mode apply to all channel add a filter sharpen filter and maybe point 0.1 it's good yeah maybe point 0.2 it's better yeah yeah it's so much better and yeah and another thing I can add a curvature for the color so I can play with different blending mode yeah maybe overall but with smaller amount in opacity so now it's done yeah it's done and it's finished thank you for watching us and please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video and share your mind in the comment section see you in the next video goodbye